cars got absolutely rammed by Farnley. Thanks, bro. What's going on, viewers? It is Farnley Mate here, as always. So, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. So, now again. I'm back here with another league racing in the same league, Forza Racing Series or FRS if you like it. It's the same league that I did the MX5 Cup, MX5 Cup race around Laguna Seca in. And this time, the championship is the, uh, GT cars around Nurburgring full circuit. And what you're seeing right here, this is qualifying and I ran out of fuel uh, at uh, lap number 3 down the, uh, down the final straight. And here my friend Arrow is just um, doing some donuts here for me and because I ran out of fuel on lap number 3 I just basically did one flying lap and that was it. That was my qualifying. I couldn't do two laps like everyone else did. So that, that didn't really go well, well, but we'll see what happens in the races as Arrow is just putting some rubber down there eating his tires. So this is again qualifying. This is lap number 1 of qualifying. And yeah, I make a mistake. I make the lap, get get my lap dirty. I this I can't get myself back on the track. Well, I finally do here. And through this chicane, it's just like this section of Nurburgring. It's just like chicanes left, right, and center. It's just left, right, left, right, left, right, just like that. And as you see here, I were getting a little bit slidey. We we had uh, collisions turned off for qualifying, so everyone could get their best lap. And going towards this turn. I just completely bend it and oh going to the tire wall and yeah just complete bottle drop and <laughs> at the exact moment that I thought I'm the only one that's gonna just mess it up LMP fire just went flying into the tire wall into like the last piece of the tire wall so that was qualifying for you I eventually qualified in fifth as someone not someone's not moving off the line he said that uh, well, uh, Forza, uh, Forza's like um, time start had some problems, so he couldn't move off the line. But anyways, I I was hesitating. I didn't know if I should keep moving or should just stop and back out. But I kept going on, and we're in fifth right now, behind a group of four, not a group of four. This is like two groups of each two people, and behind Sam drives in Simpson again. Going side by side uh, through the right hander up the inside of Sam drives, and here we just tap some syndicate. We use the extra power that this Dodge Viper ACR possesses, and that that's just proof that Dodge is rare than Chevrolet. You can change my mind if you want to, but I'm, I bet you can. I bet you're not gonna change my mind. So getting a good exit out of the hairpin, going for a late apex through Shima Chris, a little bit wide, missing the apex. Behind GTR Bandit, we're, we're catching right up to his back. I wanted to go for the move into this corner, but I decided not to. So because I knew I had a power advantage over these GT cars, and I'll explain that later. So I just decided to wait for the straight. I braked a little bit too much here. I, I had a really slow exit, but as you can see, I'm gaining on him. Around the outside of the Porsche RSR, and now into the chicane. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, there it is. On the brakes, downshifting to first just to get that stopping power, but it was not enough. I braked a little bit too late, and a GTR brand gets me on the cutback, gets me on the way out. And now, we, as we enter the Norch Life loop, they told us in the party chat to back out because the grid order wasn't correct. So there we go, just a stop on the right hand side of the track, and here we go again, but and again. Arrow not moving off the line because well Forza is so dumb and already I lose my front right I I lose my right headlight so that's not a good start. Look at that three wide going towards the third corner and we move up into second place. GTR Bandit losing control over that Aston Martin and he goes off the track but we're just about fine. We're uh, up into second place behind Nico in the Porsche RSR. We're gonna see what we can do here, and ooh, we get shunted in the rear end, almost going off the track. I got, I didn't, I was, I was about to say I got lucky, but well, I didn't get lucky. Let's yeah. look at his point of view. No, oh, I hit far nude. I'm sorry, dude. He yeah, just mercilessly just shunted me. Almost, I, I controlled the. Car. I got really lucky. I could keep the car under my. Con uh, I could just. 
uh, keep the car under control otherwise I would be off into the gravel and yeah that, that, that's not good that's not good at all and through Shima Chris look at that taking a taking probably the best line through there up the inside of the Porsche RSR up into first place already and the thing about Sim Syndicate is that when I barely hit his car we made bumper to bumper contact I just boosted him if anything it was just a simple love spank bro don't take it seriously why are you gay he said oh I just got absolutely rammed by Farnard uh, thanks bro what was that in what universe is that a ram that's not a ram that's just contact what you did there if you're watching this video I'm pretty sure you're watching right now that was almost a ram you got really lucky I didn't go off the track I could just keep the car under control but it's racing no hard feelings we're just having fun here it's not nothing nothing like serious so as we entered the Norch Life loop that was pretty much the end of the race because uh, well I just let's be honest I smoked everyone in the lobby in that race they couldn't catch up and as you can see here going towards the line to finish the race I lost pretty much everything headlights tail lights and my wing I lost everything on the car and as we cross the line we're gonna finish upside down mid-air and there it is first place in our first race so good stuff all around not not quite the fastest lap though about two seconds off but it doesn't matter the finishing position is all that matters here and in here let me explain it we we were doing like group competition so uh, we were there were three groups of people in this me farhan and sam drive we were group one fastest people in the in the lobby and we were only competing against each other so if i just like i'm in fifth right now the position counting it says i'm in fifth but i'm technically in first uh, in first place because i'm ahead of everyone else in my group so overall finishing results doesn't really matter what matters is that if you finish ahead of your ahead of the people in your group so i'm basically technically in first place right now as we progress and we go towards the hairpin at the bottom of the gp circuit and it was it was a pretty boring race let's be honest because the field spread was a little bit too big and basically i was just lapping on my own for for the entire first lap and uh, and the reason the reason they didn't move off the line is because there's like a time start and forza's uh, forza system is broke as shit and that's why they couldn't move off the line the game wouldn't let them move off the line but i somehow could i don't know the game decided to show some mercy to me after i got rammed in the previous race so in here i skip a lap and nothing really happened except from uh that if, except from the fact that I catch I caught up with Nico in the Porsche RSR as we go towards the Norch Life loop and it's gonna be a little bit tricky to overtake in the Norch Life because it is really tight and if you have the straight line speed and you can just keep barely keep up uh, through the corners you're gonna be fine but if you have the handling and don't have the straight line speed you're basically screwed because they can't get you on the straight line and uh, but you, but you can't really overtake them because the uh, through the corners because the circuit is too narrow and going for dive bombs and lunges is a little bit dangerous. And here, as we go through the chicane section, it, as I said, just chicanes left, right, and center. And I caught up right onto his back. I go a little bit slow because I put my wheels on the grass. But look at that! The power advantage is gonna help me out here. I'm just gonna get the run on him. As we go up this hill, it, this one is a tricky corner because uh, if you're going up, your car goes airborne and you don't really have control over your car. But that was about, um, I can say that was about as interesting as it could get, as it could get in that race. But I forgot this. This this is this is a really interesting part after of that race. It's just a few. I think it's two minutes earlier, later, and Bill gets ready. If it, it was one of those awkward moments where you, where you, when you didn't... Mission Control, we have a belligerent dumbass here that won't cooperate. ...know where to go, and the guy in front of you didn't know, like, which side to open up for you. Because, well, first of all, let me say that, his rejoin was pretty ridiculous, and he should be banned, but he's the server owner, so we can't ban him. I 
tried to like start a petition just to get him banned but that didn't work i almost got kicked out of the server so and yeah he was one of the awkward moments. his rejoin angle was a little bit uh like a little bit bad and the gt cars are wide so he was basically just blocking the whole path i tried to go overtake him from the right hand side and then he just he just swerved across, went back into the right hand side just to like open the way for me so I can so I don't lose any momentum. But uh, uh, by that time I've already turned I've already turned turned left. I can't even talk, Jesus Christ! So that was that was one of those awkward moments. I'm pretty sure you all have experienced <laughs> some moments like that. But it was okay. I was in first place anyways, but I just had I wanted to catch some syndicate, but I couldn't really. And I finished third, but technically I finished first. So this is the final race. Sam just left us. He said that he, he can't play anymore. It's just me and Firehound in group one. Let's see what we can do here. I wanted to have an even start. So I just kept uh, getting on the brakes just to do burnouts and warm the tires a little bit and start at the same time with Firehound. And I did that just about fine. And going through the first corner, some cone went flying from my back. I don't know if you, if you caught that or not, but that was hilarious. But the GP, the GP circuit, the GP part of Norberging full circuit, is my absolutely my favorite part because this car handle handles it really well. <coughs> Sorry. And okay, now about the car and why am I using a Viper ACR instead of a GT car? Oh well. The, the Viper ACR has a pretty similar performance to the GT cars, you know, it is a really handling based car and doesn't really have much top speed and it has even less top end than a normal GT car. But for example, this car tops out at around 282 hour, while the Porsche RSR that Farhan is using, it topped out at around 319 hour. so that final straight could make a lot of difference. But some people were saying it, it is OP in the server, and but it's really not because handling wise and grip wise, a GT car has far better handling and grip through the corners, especially the slow corners. It had it has a similar braking uh, braking uh, as a GT car, so that that's even, but it has better acceleration and it has I think like 9.2 acceleration. But the thing is, it, it's also heavier. It's about 70 or 80 kilos heavy, heavier than a GT car. And top end wise, it was the slowest car in this lobby. Every other car could go around like 290 kilometers per hour, but this, this this was just no. It would just say no. Only 281 kilometers per hour, take it or leave it, that's it. And because it has way more downforce than a normal GT car, it has around, it has around 550 yeah, 550 kilograms of downfall. Jesus, I can't talk for my life. Damn it. So, as I was saying, some people were saying the car was OP. Well, I gotta tell you, this car is. If if there's anything OP about this car, it was the driver and the tuner, which were the same person. The driver was the tuner of this car as well. So, if there's anything about it, it was the driver. So deal with it and get better. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, right. So yeah, that was that was just a clarification. So don't stop saying this car was OP. This car was not OP by any means. It was hard to control. Coming out of the corners, it would just slide about. If you just made, if you just got on the throttle a little bit early or a little bit keenly, it would just throw you off. Go over a curb, and the curb would just uh, send you flying into a wall. And this is the around like three minutes, uh, uh, six minutes into the lap number one of that uh, final race. I caught up with Nico in the Porsche RSR. I almost going to the back of him, but just about managed to not go into the back of him. And if I if I stay behind him for too long, I'm gonna lose some. So I have to find a way through. I'm getting side by side through this left hander around the outside. Just look at that move, overtake off the whole competition. That was really beautiful. That was perfectly executed as well. Around the out, you know, like who would have thought? You can't tell this for children. To say that there was a YouTuber that went around the outside of a Porsche RSR in a Dodge Viper ACR around Nurburgring, which is a really super super tight circuit. 
there's like not much room to overtake and the curbs the curbs do not like you they treat you as if you kill their parents i don't know why but that, that's just that's just the way it works and if you just turn in a little bit early you're gonna go over a curb the curbs throw you off or even if you don't go over a curb you're gonna go into the grass and then eventually you find yourself in a wall and that was the end of lap number one we're sitting in fourth but as i said technically we're in first place look at those stickers on the side of the car just uh, you know reminding those v8 users in the gt cars that v10 is superior compared to v8 and now we got we are four seconds behind third place which is sim syndicate there yet yeah, yes they're sim syndicate and gtr branded both well within sight we're gonna see what we can do here we're probably gonna gain a lot of time through the gp circuit because the, the this the gp circuit is just you know fast corners and then you accelerate away that's just what this car is good at there, there are there are not many slow corners uh, through the gp circuit so that's i'm guessing i should be gaining on them quite good but oh, yes there it is already gained 1.2 seconds on them since the start of lap so that just shows you that a uh, this car is perfectly suited to the GP circuit so and these guys up ahead are going side by side through pretty much all the corners so they're gonna just lose time but before uh, I get on with the commentary again let me tell you guys my school just started and I'm not I'm probably not gonna be able to play at all or maybe just play once in every week so the, you're gonna you're not gonna see many videos as well maybe like one upload per every week or maybe even every two weeks so that i just wanted to say that but please don't abandon me don't unsubscribe or anything because i need your support so it will, so it will i get so i'm motivated to keep going and that was that was all i wanted to say and coming through here it's awesome to see to the gate okay we are gonna watch that are you sure about that oh, okay yeah that was it okay you heard him or if you couldn't really hear him because his voice wasn't quite as clear as i as mine right now and uh, he said that we're under north life they're under north life so i i should not be able to catch him up or overtake him because well, he was he had the mindset of well, North Life is really tight, so he cannot overtake me. But well, he was let me tell you, he was so wrong, and you'll find out why in a few minutes, in a few moments. And oh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. I I must have you were a lot further ahead. Okay, just fight him. F stay with him as long as you can, so I can catch up. Entre me di entre las piedras de chipiona, de paro, y cuando entro en el restaurante me ve. <laughs> and there it is, the noodle effect, I'll tell you what it is, comes into play, look at that, just, GTR Bandit just absolutely kills the Sim Syndicate, push him, pushes him into the wall, but the thing, the funny thing is, when he told GTR Bandit to hold me off and fight me so he can catch back up, I had already overtaken GTR Bandit in his Aston Martin, so there was he, basically nothing GTR Bandit could do. And in here, the proximity arrow goes flying to the left hand side. I thought he was gonna go to the back of me, but uh, well, luckily he didn't. So, going through this section of the circuit, it's like a slalom course, just going left, right, left, right, really quickly. And going uphill, getting on the brakes, and we're about 13 seconds behind the leader, so we should be able to catch up given that we gained like 50 seconds on him in just one lap, so. Catching him up shouldn't really be a problem, and going coming out of the corner, getting a little bit of slide, and we lose a little bit of momentum, but nothing sinister. 
But you know, it wouldn't be a fun RMA video without me getting disconnected in the middle of in the middle of an important race. And well, yes, there it is. There's confirmation of Founded RMA's YouTube video getting disconnected in the middle of a race. So that was it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. I'm gonna put up the results really quickly right now. And there are the results. The final championship results was, was just the overall results, which didn't really matter. I still got first. The group, uh, there it is. You see down the bottom of the screen, GT championship results by group. That's what that. Uh, that's the only thing that matters. I won that. I won. I finished first in all three races. I got disconnected in the third race, but that just counts as a first place because I was first in my group. So that was it. I hope you have enjoyed this. Leave a like, uh, leave a like if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of the same content. And stay safe, take care. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.